Hey, what's good, y'all? Before we get this video started, I am doing a 2K20 Legend Edition giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe, turn on those notifications, and like the video and comment why you need 2K20. I want to give it to someone that actually needs it. And yeah, I really feel like giving back. So yeah, let's get into the video. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Mello here and I'm back bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I am going to be showing you guys the 10 things that you may have missed in the NBA 2K20 Park trailer. Now before anything, I ask that you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications down below. And yeah, so you, if you guys didn't know, 2K accidentally leaked the Park trailer. And it's, it's not just let you watch it. I'll let you watch it and if you don't want to watch it, you can skip ahead, but here it is. Besides the fact that we got the same exact park, I mean, it's not the same exact park. There's a lot of changes to it, but regardless of that, I think this game is going to be crazy good. Let me know in the comments, man. I think it's going to be a huge W. All the events and the park rep and everything, it, it makes it just look like it's going to be so much fun. I hope it is. But yeah, so let's get into the things that you may have missed. For number one, we just have a normal screenshot to start off the whole video. It started off the trailer and it's just a picture of a tree, but I don't know if the tree represents something. It may represent something that we don't know, but also if you look in the background, it looks like 2K19 with a whole different revamp. It looks it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. I mean, like I didn't really have a problem with the 2K19 park. It looked pretty nice, it was clean, and the whole neighborhood was nice. The only bad part was getting games, which they may have split the servers. I'm not sure yet. But hopefully they did because that would mean everyone will get games. But yeah, so for number two, we have a ramen store. And like, this didn't really make any sense in the trailer because it just was put in there randomly. Like, it was just a quick little scene that was put in randomly. So I don't know if they made improvements to the neighborhood and added certain alleyways where you can go down and go to stores and stuff. Maybe there's new stores, maybe there's this and that, you know? So. I don't know if this is just like a, a picture just to be there, you know, like this is a stupid thing, like how in 19 there's those random, random stores that you really can't do anything in, or if this is something that's a lot bigger than just a random, boring, normal store. Now for number three, we have backpacks and backpacks are just added into the game and it is a rep reward. So I'm pretty sure once you hit, I don't know what it is. It might be like superstar two or something like that. That is when you receive your backpack and you get to wear backpacks all around the park. Not sure if you can wear them in game yet, but I would assume you would be able to because there would be no point in having a backpack and not being able to, to wear it around while you're playing the game. But yeah, this is actually really cool and I love that they added this. Now right here we have a screenshot of somebody repping up and it looks like how it was in 2K17 when it was repping up. Like it wasn't something that you really missed, you know, like, you know. This isn't like a big deal or anything, but this is, it's pretty cool. Like it just shows like what it's going to look like when you wrap up. And I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for Park Red to be back. That is like the top thing that is on my mind because it's going to make the game so much better and so much more competitive and fun. And this next one, it goes into that idea. So 
Here we go, number five. We got a new addition to the game that is called 3v3 Pro-Am Court. So I hope that it is four quarters 3v3. I don't know yet. I don't know if it's just a game of 21 3v3. Like it's matchmaking. I know for a fact that it's matchmaking, but also you get to create a team, create an arena and have a logo and everything added to the team. And in this screenshot right here, you can look closely and see that everyone is wearing a hoodie. But in the clip after in the trailer, everyone was wearing short sleeves. So you can wear a short sleeve or hoodie. You can change up your whole uniform like that, which is going to be super cool. This is going to be a great way if you're not getting games to go and get some games and you have some matchmaking pro on games just for fun around 3v3. Now right here, we just have a treasure chest and nobody knows what this treasure chest means. It was a part a, of a, uh, a park event, but it may mean something more than just a park event type thing. It may be like a reward for the park event and always something random. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of like me assuming things, but hopefully it's something more like more than that. That'd be really cool. Everybody knows that in 2K19, there was dodgeball and you could win 100K VC just from winning dodgeball. I don't know if I had it every day. I'm not too sure. I didn't really pay attention, but look at this screenshot here. This man is wearing like a weird thing on his back. I don't even know what it is. Comment down below if you know what it is. I have no clue what that is. And he is either playing dodgeball. So we know that dodgeball is coming back. Hopefully it's 100k BC again. I, I mean, like that's, it's an easy way to win BC. Especially if people boost. You know, I know there's a lot of people that boost. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully that it's 100k BC. Let's get to the next one, which is Ruffles. And Ruffles is coming back. It's going to be 4v4 again because if you look in the screenshot, there is seven people. There's, you can see legs on the side that shows that it is seven people on the court. So you know it's not a 3v3. You know it is a 4v4. I don't know if there's goaltending. I don't know any details about the Ruffles, but I know that Ruffles is back. And hopefully it's for unlimited boost. Hopefully it is. And close transfer this year, so you'll have Ruffles on every player. In this screenshot, it shows that there is a challenge called the Big Top Challenge. And I think that is just a normal park event where you just have big heads. That's like, that's why I'm pretty sure what it is. Like I said before, I don't really have any details going into these screenshots. All I'm showing is things that you may have missed, which are like little cool things, you know, like, like this, like, you know, everyone's going to have a big head, which is like kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Now to top it off, we have seasonal parks. So this is a Christmas theme park right here and they have snow it's everything we've wanted it's everything we've asked for in recent years so we have snowy parks for winter in the fall we have trees that have orange leaves and everything and probably leaves everywhere i don't know there's a scarecrow i saw and then we got halloween we got halloween theme parks we got everything so it's gonna be a great year for this 2k to be honest with you i am so hyped up for 2k20 all these screenshots, this trailer, everything being leaked is just, it's getting me more and more hype every day. So that is going to be the end of the video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the screenshots, the trailer, everything. Comment down below how hyped you are for 2K. Like, I can't even explain how hyped I am right now. But like I said, end of the video, man. You know the deal. Drop a like, turn the notifications, hit that subscribe button. You know, comment whatever you want share out this video, you know, help me out. You know, when you help me out, it, it makes me feel good, right? <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll see you next video, and I'm out. Sitting inside of my car, getting real high as a bitch, and I'm thinking real hard, looking right back at the stars. I'm talking to them, I ask if I'm doing this wrong. Silence is always, I put down the phone and I hang up, I guess that's the end of the